Hello teacher, hello students. Welcome to today's lesson on the intersection between geometrical solids. In our last lesson, we have seen the principles in classification of surface intersection, the steps to find a piercing point, the methods of locating point of intersection, and the steps used to locate the intersection of two regular prisms and their developments. Let's briefly revise the previous lesson as usual. An intersection is a point or a line where two geometric forms such as lines or surfaces meet or cross each other. The intersection of a line and a plane is revered to us the piercing point. Locations of piercing points can be found using either the edge view method or cutting plane method. Prisms are made up of planar surfaces, so all intersections will be straight lines. This means that you only need to find the ends of each intersection line. In our today's lesson, we will discuss the steps used to locate the intersection of two regular prisms at an angle different from 90 degree and their development, the intersection of two cylinders and their development, and the intersection of two cylinders at an angle different from 90 degrees and their development. Let's proceed to our first topic. To draw the line of intersection of two prisms, first start the regular top and front views. In the figure, a square prism passes through a hexagonal prism. Through the front edge of the square prism, pass a plane parallel to the vertical plane. The top view of this plane appears as a line AA. The cut this plane makes in one of the faces of the hexagonal prism shows in the front view of the cutting line AA. This line meets the front edge of the square prism at point 1. Point 1 is a point on both prisms and, therefore, a point in the desired line of intersection. Next, through the top edge of the square prism, pass plane BB also parallel to the vertical plane. This plane will make one cutting line through the lateral edges of the hexagonal prism. It will make another through the top edge of the square prism, where the two lines met will be point 2 on the front view. Point 1 and 2 are on both prisms. Therefore, a line joining them will be on both prisms and thus a part of the line of intersection. Plane BB also determines point 3. Well, students, how are you doing so far? I hope you are enjoying the lesson. Next, we'll do some activity to see how much you've understood the lesson. Two prisms which intersect at an angle different from 90 degrees are given on your screen. Find the line of intersection of these prisms and the developments of their lateral surfaces.
Welcome back. Did you do well on the exercise? I'm sure you did. The solution to the activity is given on the screen. Well, next we will see how to find the lines of intersection of two cylinders and how to develop the lateral surface of these cylinders. Cylinders have curved lateral surfaces. Therefore, when they intersect, the line of intersection will be a closed curve. Since cylinders have no edge like prism, to draw the intersection curve, Cutting plane method is used. Generally, the following steps are used to find the intersection of two cylinders. Draw the front and top views of both cylinders and circular view of the horizontal cylinder on the front or side view as required. Pass a required number of vertical cutting planes through both the cylinders by the following two options. By dividing the circular view of the horizontal cylinder into, say, 12 equal parts on side view, or draw elements along which the cutting planes are assumed to pass through. By dividing the edge of the horizontal cylinder on top view into defined number of equal parts, including the center line. Label all the points established by the intersection of the circular view with cutting planes, both on top view, front view, where only half view of the circle is used. Project points established at step 3 from top view of vertical cylinder and end view of horizontal cylinder to the front view to get corresponding intersection points. Connect intersection points obtained at step 4 with French curve so as to get the required curve of intersection. Students, parallel line method of development is used to develop the surface of the vertical cylinder. In order to prepare the lateral surface development of the vertical cylinder, use the following steps. Draw the stretch out line passing through the base of the front view whose length is equal to the circumference length of the large of top view. The total height drawn perpendicular to the stretch out line is directly projected from the front view. Draw the other lines representing the cutting plane parallel to the center line and through points 1, 2, 3, etc., located by taking the quarter lengths x, y, etc., from top view onto the development. Project the points of intersection from the curve of intersection of front view to the corresponding cutting play lines to gauge another intersection point on the development. Connect this point with French curve to complete the shape of the opening into the small cylinder fits. The lateral surface development of the small horizontal cylinder can be made in a manner similar to the development of a truncated cylinder. Well, how are you doing so far? I hope you're doing great. 
Next, we'll do an activity to check your understanding of the intersection of two cylinders and their development. Two intersecting cylinders are given on your screen. Find the line of intersection of these cylinders and the development of their lateral surfaces. Welcome back. Did you do well on the exercise? I'm sure you did. The solution to the activity is given on the screen.
Well, students, next we'll discuss how to find the intersection of two cylinders which intersect at an angle different from 90 degrees and how to develop their lateral surface. The curve of intersection of two intersecting cylinders is found by using a series of cutting plane. In general, the following steps are used to find the intersection of two cylinders which intersect at an angle different from 90 degrees. Draw the front and top views of both cylinders under intersection. Draw the auxiliary view of the intersecting cylinders at an angle as half or full circle and divide it into equal parts to establish surface line elements on its lateral surface. Label these points and project them to corresponding elliptical outline on top view. Project all the points from the elliptical outline to circle representing the edge view, the vertical cylinder on top view. Project points from the circular view of the top view to the front view to intersect corresponding surface line elements of the intersecting cylinder at an angle. Connect points obtained to complete the required curve of intersection. Students, as discussed earlier, parallel line method of development is used to develop the surface of the vertical cylinder. In order to prepare the lateral surface development of the vertical cylinder, use the following steps. First, draw the development of the full cylinder as discussed earlier. Consider appropriate number of surface line elements on the cut portion of the cylinder and then draw these elements on the development by transferring the spacing between them from the top view to the development. Transfer the length of these elements from the front view to the development to locate points on the line of intersection. Connect the points which are obtained to complete the curve of intersection on the development. The lateral surface development of the cylinder intersected at angle can be drawn in a similar manner to the development of a truncated cylinder. Well, how are you doing so far? I hope you are doing great. Next, we will do an activity to check your understanding of the intersection of two cylinders and their development. Two intersecting cylinders are given on the screen. Find the line of intersection of these cylinders and the development of their lateral surfaces.
Welcome back. Did you complete the exercise? Excellent. The solution to the activity is given on the screen. Well, students, I hope you've gained a lot of concepts from today's lesson. Before we come to the end of the program, let's recap the main points. Prisms have only plane surfaces. Therefore, when one prism penetrates another prism, the intersection of surfaces results in straight lines only. Each intersection line starts and ends at points where edges of one prism meet a plane surface or edges of another prism. Also, the intersection lines from a closed polygon. On the other hand, cylinders have curved lateral surfaces. Therefore, when they intersect, the line of intersection will be a closed curve. Since cylinders have no edges like prisms, to draw the intersection curve, cutting plane method is used. Well, students, that brings us to the end of technical drawing for grade 12. This has been Gazan Yambalu, your teacher, throughout the year. I have enjoyed teaching the lesson. If you keep practicing and master the knowledge of technical drawing, hopefully, we might end up in the same project in the future. Teacher, I hope the plasma lessons have greatly assisted your technical drawing class. Well, thank you teacher and thank you students. So long.